The numbers, more than 4.6 million cases of COVID-19 have been recorded worldwide, including at least 311,000 deaths. U.S. warning, without better planning, the U.S. risks its darkest winter in modern history, ousted vaccine expert Dr. Rick Bright testified before Congress. Brazil overtakes Spain, the South American country is now the fourth worst hit in the world, with more than 233,500 cases. China quarantine, at least 8,000 people have been quarantined in northeast China as authorities battle a new outbreak. A top Chinese health official told CNN that avoiding a new wave of cases remains a big challenge for the country. The UK government is close to reaching its target of recruiting 18,000 contact tracers to help health authorities understand who may have been exposed to COVID-19 patients, Cabinet Minister Michel Gove said Sunday. More than 17,000 people have been recruited for contact tracing, so we're on course to meet that target, Gove told Sky News. Gove said the contact tracing scheme should be up and running by the end of this month. The job advert says contact tracers will be responsible for liaising over the phone with COVID-19 patients, understanding their situation and assisting in the tracing and tracking of anyone they have been in contact with. Most of the country has loosened restrictions meant to curb the spread of coronavirus, but as Americans begin to gather again, health officials warn moving too fast could have dire consequences. In California, more than 180 people may have been exposed by a person who had the virus during an in-person religious service last week, the Butte County Public Health Department said. We all need to do our part to follow the orders and mitigation efforts so that our reopen Butte County plan can continue to move forward, Butte County Public Health Director Daynette York said in a statement Friday. Moving too quickly through the reopening process can cause a major setback and could require us to revert back to more restrictive measures. And in Erie, Pennsylvania, officials said they will keep city park facilities closed to ensure a continued path toward the state's reopening, despite repeated requests from residents to utilize park grounds for sports, exercise and picnics. It is vital for the health of our community that we all refrain from gathering in large groups to ensure that our community members remain safe while we work towards moving into the green phase, Mayor Joe Schember said in a statement. The green phase is the last of three reopening stages for Pennsylvania, during which most restrictions will be lifted and regions can proceed into a new normal, according to the governor's office. The warnings echo conversations taking place across the U.S. by health officials, residents, business owners and experts who are trying to tackle what a safe reopening looks like, and what could happen if it's rushed. Alicia Cappers doesn't remember her contractions or her baby's first cries. Other than her newborn son, her only reminder of that day is the scar from her cesarean section. She was 31 weeks pregnant when her husband took her to a Cincinnati, Ohio, hospital in late March. She had a cough fever and it was getting harder and harder to breathe. The novel coronavirus was putting a strain on her body and the 40-year-old mother would have to deliver her baby early while in a medically induced coma. Cappers and her husband dreamed of giving a sibling to their three-year-old son Zane. Conceiving had never been an easy task for them and a pandemic was about to make things even more difficult. From putting together a nursery for the baby to having to hunker down at home because of the virus, the life of this family of three was already changing. Russia recorded 9,709 new confirmed cases of coronavirus, bringing the official total to 281,752 cases on Sunday, according to a statement from the country's coronavirus response headquarters. At least 94 people died in the last 24 hours, raising the official death toll to 2,631. Moscow is the worst-hit city and accounts for over a half of all cases and deaths in the country. 
Yet the virus is now spreading across Russia's regions, an enormous landmass that covers 11 time zones and includes some of the country's most remote and impoverished places. The numbers, more than 4,635,830 cases of the coronavirus have been reported worldwide, according to a tally from Johns Hopkins University. At least 311,824 people have died as a result of the coronavirus. The United States is the world's worst hit country. Officials there recorded 25,060 new coronavirus cases on Saturday and 1,224 deaths, bringing the total to 1,467,884 cases of coronavirus. At least 88,754 people have died there as a result of the virus. Worsening outbreak in South America, Brazil overtook Spain to become the fourth largest outbreak in the world Saturday. The country has recorded more than 233,500 cases, and 15,600 deaths. Elsewhere in South America, Peru and Chile are both suffering major outbreaks. Thousands quarantined in China, at least 8,000 people have been quarantined by authorities in northeast China, who are battling a new outbreak which emerged around the city of Shulin. Minor outbreaks have also been recorded elsewhere in the country, amid fears of another wave of the virus. Top Chinese health advisor speaks to CNN, those fears are well-founded, said DR. Zhang Nanshan, one of China's top health experts and an advisor to the government on the coronavirus response. Zhang told CNN that avoiding a new wave of cases remains a big challenge for the country.